There you go. <laughs> As you can see, now uh, you can do interesting things with this. It looks like a reflection, you know, there's a lake at the bottom. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use OpenCV webcam with PyVisual. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do, as always, we will go to a new project and we will write here OpenCV webcam and we are going to go ahead and save this. Now, while this is saving, we can go back and create a new folder for our project and we will write here OpenCV webcam as well. And here we are going to copy the link of our absolute path and then we will go back and auto sync this so that whatever we do applies on our project so there you go now the auto sync is enabled so then we will click on advanced and here we will open up the open cv webcam and as you can see we can center this it's a normal element that you can use and we have all the options here at the top so let's go ahead and look at those we have the size you can change the size of this uh, by simply dragging and you can see the size changes then we have the webcam id now in most cases this will be zero but if you have multiple webcams like i do i have connected uh, multiple cameras one is recording and one is for the actual footage of the webcam so then i can use a different id so my webcam is connected at id number one so i will use that but in most cases you will use zero then you have the resolution so this is 640 by 360 then you have 1280 by 720 640 by 480 whatever resolution you want you can add here now uh, this is very important to understand that the resolution is different than the size so you can have it a very big size but if the resolution is bad then it will come pixelated so the video will be a little bit uh, pixelated and then you have the auto start if you turn that on so right now it's on then as soon as we run it it will run uh, but if we uh, uh, disable it and then whenever we add an event to run it only then it will run so that's the basic idea uh, then you have the corner radius and the border uh, you can change the border settings you can change its color uh, and so on and then you can also flip the image vertically and horizontally and then you have the basic features that we always have so let's go ahead and uh, update this and see if it works in our uh, project so here you have OpenCV webcam I can simply right click and run this and hopefully so there you go we have a nice animation that runs uh, round and round and there you go you can see me here hello <laughs> so that's basically that's how simple it is to run your webcam and as you can see we already have the design we had the red border and all of that now if I wanted to flip it I can flip it vertically for example uh, and I can make it a little bit bigger and uh, we can change the border thickness to a little bit more and then we can update this and we can go back and let's see if it changes or not so let's run that and there you go now it's bigger and then of course you have the border thickness as well and as you see the it's vertically flipped as well so that's how simple it is to get started with webcam and open cv now this is for the element part that physically you can place the element for the design like this but how exactly can you program it that's the main part right so we will go ahead and learn how to program this so let's go ahead and do that in order to understand the programming part we'll first look at how exactly can we normally program uh, a webcam so in OpenCV what we do is we first import our CV2 library then we uh, initialize our uh, video capture uh, camera webcam and then we give in an ID zero so again you can give one two three as you require and then we add a while loop uh, to run the frames and we read the frame so all of this I call this the setup so where you are getting the frame so once you get the frame then the second part is to process the frame so whatever technique you want to add you want to detect objects you want to detect edges you want to change the color of it you want to change it to grayscale whatever you want happens in the part two which is process now once that part is done the third step is to show the final result and for that you write cv2 im show you give in the webcam 
uh, you give in the frame, you give in the name of the window, and then you add a small delay so that you are able to see it. Now, with PyVisual, you don't have to code the setup and the show. All you have to do is write the process. So whatever process you want to add to your frame, you just add that and the rest of, our, uh, the, rest of the things we take care of. So how exactly can we do that? We only need to give a function name that this is the function, just give the frame to that and we will process everything in that. So how exactly does that work? Let's go ahead and give it a name first. So this is a dynamic element, which means that we will be making changes to this. Uh, so it will give us the frame, we'll make some changes and so on. So that's why it's a good thing to name it. So we will add the variable name here, OpenCV Webcam, and we will update it here. And then we can simply go back. And as you know, attach events is the first place we start with. So we will write here UI. And over here, we are going to write page underscore zero. And then we are going to write uh, OpenCV underscore webcam. And then whatever we need, we can ask for it. So the property that we want is the frame frame underscore processor. So this will take input as the name of the function where you want to send that frame. So where you want to process it. So for example, we can write the name of this function. You can write anything. So we will write here process underscore frame. So that's the basic idea. So this name cannot change. Frame processor will always remain same. This is just a function name. You can name it whatever you want. So here we can write process underscore frame and by default it will return us a frame so this when we declare the name it will send in a frame to this and then we will return this frame which is basically your im show whatever you return uh, the function of this it will be the im show it will display that so for example i can now use any processing technique to this frame and it should work so for example i can write here import cv2 and then i can simply write here uh i can simply write here cv2 dot let's say we convert it into grayscale so we will write here cvt color we will convert the frame to grayscale so we will write cv2 dot uh, color bgr to gray and then we will put all of this in image gray now, all we have to do is, as I mentioned, this is the I am show. So this is the return. So if I want to display the grayscale image, I will simply paste it here and that's it. So that's how simple it is to run this. And if we run it now, we should get a grayscale image. And there you go. So now you are getting a grayscale image and any image processing technique you want to add using OpenCV, you can add here. So if I wanted to even add YOLO, I can add it here as well because I'm getting the frame each time and that's how it works. Now, this is pretty cool. And then one thing uh, that we can do extra is what if I want to add another image to show a process? For example, I want to show the original image. I want to show the grayscale image. I want to show the canny image. I want to show the object detected image and so on. So how exactly can we do that? Now, the common practice or what comes to mind is that you simply copy this and paste it. But that's not how you do it. Uh, every ID will have only one webcam. So if you have one webcam, you can only have one of these. If you have multiple webcams, then here you can write ID number zero, here you can write ID number one and it should work. Both webcam will work at the same time. But you cannot have ID one for this and ID one for this as well. It will not display the images on both of them, right? But if you wanted to display more, what you can do is you can simply add the image, OpenCV image. Now the OpenCV image will allow you to display the image uh, whatever you want. So it can be a webcam image, it can be a static image, whatever you want, you can display on this. So I will give it a name. I will say image underscore, let's say gray. So we will display the gray image here and we will display the original image on webcam OpenCV. So we will update that and we will go back. And now we need uh, the reference to this uh, image. So what we can do is we can simply paste this here and I can write in page zero, we now have image underscore gray and I want to access the image of that. 
dot image equals image gray and this will change the OpenCV image this image to gray right it will add that image there and what we can do is we can display the original image right on the webcam right so that's the basic idea but we have an issue we don't have access to UI because we are not passing the UI to this function and it's not globally declared anywhere so where exactly is UI coming from UI is a dictionary which has all the elements within our app so we need access to that so it is declared over here in the main and then it's passed on to the attach events so here we can see it's passed on here and then what we can do is we can pass out uh, we can pass it on to the process frame but unfortunately we cannot do it like this as we have seen in our previous examples so what we have to do is we have to use partial so we can write here from function tools imports partial and what we can do here uh, is that we can write here partial and we can say that this is the function and also this is the input parameter so these are the uh, input parameters so here we will simply receive this input parameter and now we can use it so if we run this now uh, we will have our second image you can see here this is the webcam and this is the image so original should display here and there you go we have the uh, uh, grayscale image as well displayed on the image and of course uh, this is real time as you can see what happens at the top happens at the bottom as well and I can keep adding more images uh, if I wanted to I can add a canny image and that should work as well so if I copy this and paste it and I will change the name of this to image underscore canny and I will update this I will go back I will copy this part and I will make this image uh, canny and now we need an image canny, right? Uh, so let's first of all declare that image canny. Image canny equals cv2 dot canny, and then we can give in the uh, image gray, and then we can pass on the uh, threshold, for example, 50 50. So now we should have a separate image for canny as well. So uh, hopefully there you go so there you go now we can see we have lots of processing going on and it is displaying us the images as well and if i wanted to change the design of these uh, i can simply add uh, for example a corner radius here and uh, i can add a border uh, i can even flip this image if i wanted to and i can update that and now you will see that uh, these uh, changes are reflected uh, on our final product there you go now we have a nice corner radius and it has flipped as well so you can see now uh, the image is flipped one one interesting thing to do would be uh, let's try that out I haven't tried it out myself so let's try that out if we reduce the thickness of this and we add this image here and we make it the same size like that what is the size of this 350 by 196 so we will make it 350 by 196 so like that and uh, let's increase the window size to 850 so we have some more room to play with and there you go so we can place them side by side and or or we can do a reflection at the bottom that will look much nicer so let's do that <laughs> that will look really nice so let's increase the height of this as well so let's put it here and let's put this here and we will vertically flip this and instead of gray image we will also send the same image uh, and we will reduce the corner radius of this we will uh, finish the corner radius so it will look like a reflection of it so let's update that and in the code all we have to do is instead of uh, image gray we will just send in the frame so it will look like a reflection let's see if it works <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> As you can see, now uh, you can do interesting things with this. It looks like a reflection, you know, there's a lake at the bottom 
So this is how you can use OpenCV with webcam. And as you can see, it's very simple to use and it's very interesting. And you can make lots of different examples. And this will definitely upgrade your OpenCV projects, which you will create after this. So let me know what did you create. Put in the comments, what exactly are you making? And add an idea in the comments below that what should I make with this OpenCV uh, functionality. So this is it for today and I will see you in the next one.